Now, a mid-century home tour. This is Roman Rhodes. It was originally called Roman Rhodes Apartments. It was built in 1964 with the sixth building constructed in 1970. Rachel Simmons is an expert in mid-century design. Well, I'm a professionally certified interior designer. I specialize in mid-century renovation. I'm also on the post-war architecture task force of Greater Phoenix. She lives at Roman Rhodes, a six-building complex in Uptown Phoenix. She's going to give us a tour of one of the units. The entryway is the most dramatic feature. We have, the, we have, a, we have a front door that's kind of topped by a, a large panel and then covered by a cantilevered overhang. Then when you walk in, you are, um, you, you walk in under a sort of a catwalk balcony that connects the two bedrooms upstairs, but you have this huge 18 foot tall ceiling. And then the back wall of the home is all glass. That wall then opens up onto what the, they called in the marketing materials the atrium, uh, but it's actually a, a private back garden or courtyard that has a um, 10 foot deep overhang. So it creates really great shaded outdoor space, connects the interior with the exterior. Beyond the patio is a 10 by 20 sort of oval shaped cocktail pool. And every unit had one. Back inside, there's a great room that connects the new kitchen on one side. The design in this unit is sensitive to the original position and kind of uh, closed off nature of the galley kitchen, but really brings it into the 21st century. To the living room on the other. This unit has a fireplace, not all of them do. The bookcase, I'm certain was probably added by the first owner, because it definitely dates from the period, but it wasn't an option. And so I think that that was that was kind of a custom insert. I know that it has a working record player that's that's all um, wired into speakers throughout the house. Then there's this really actually impressive kind of open floating staircase that connects the upstairs and downstairs. Upstairs, there are two master suites. One is larger than the other, so it has a kind of a dual sink vanity rather than a single sink like the other bedroom. The home is full of original features mixed with updates, making it ready for the next 50 years. Since the 1960s, the architect of Roman Rhodes has been identified as Laszlo Sandor. But Sandor, now in his 90s, has revealed that he was just the signer of the work. The actual designer was famous local architect Al Beadle. In the early 60s, Beadle wasn't licensed to be an architect, so Sandor signed off on his work. I, got, I, 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 I was in shock. I can't even articulate it. Um, definitely, I told you, every time I even think about it, goosebumps. For mid-century enthusiasts like Rachel Simmons, it's a big deal. Of course, we were really excited, and we got the Beatle family involved. We have since um, official Beatle signature plaques installed outside of each unit. And now, homeowners at Roman Roads are working to have the complex listed on the National Register of Historic Places.